be a good cross racer, you really have to have that killer instinct. You gotta have your elbows out, you gotta be advancing when you can, you can't really hold back. You're full gas the whole time, but you also have to be able to navigate and you know, maneuver your bike through all sorts of different obstacles like sand and barriers or mud. It's trying to be fluid and relaxed and you know, aware of what's going on at all times. Cannondale Cyclocross World Team rides Avid B7 RSLs. The performance difference is so big and the, the amount that I'm able to relax while going downhill and I don't feel like I'm having to squeeze really hard to stop and I know I'm going to stop and I can modulate what the tire is doing and it's phenomenal. There's no going back. The BB7 RSLs have just a lot of power. So when you're coming down something very steep, it's the ability to say you want to break, you know, and think it, and then being able to actually do it. The first race that I used disc brakes, I thought, man, I'm not going to really see much of a difference. And I was amazed. But because I'm able to brake later, I can come into more speed and I can get through the corners faster than other riders. So I'm able to pass a rider or even two riders in those last couple meters. This year we're working with the Avid BB7 RSL. The riders at first were a little wary of going with a disc and now nobody wants to go back. It's so much easier to ride. It stops better, stops more consistently, quieter. Everybody is so stoked on the brakes now. Well, SRAM Red is, is first and foremost durable, so every weekend, you know, we pull the bikes out of the trailer and they're ready to race. We don't, we don't have a lot of upkeep in between the races, which is very nice. The road one-to-one -one exact actuation on the uh, Drupo is great, especially when it's, it's muddy and the conditions are bad because it's, it just keeps the shifting so precise, even in the worst conditions. I've been racing in cold weather, warm weather, and it's been working great. No, like, nothing misshifting was running smooth and everything. What I've liked about SRAM from the beginning is the positive shifting. You all, it all has that click to it, that super positive click, and I always like that. The part about SRAM Red is the zero loss. Um, having that just quick shifting feel um, and, and snappy response to my, my action of shifting is 100% the reason why I love it. You shift so often and so quick, you want to be in that, that next gear. It's, it's quick, it's smooth, it's fast. Our women riders especially love the reach adjust for their smaller hands, especially in cross where you're out there in the cold and the wet and your hands are numb and, and it's hard to reach the brakes already. And you're not fumbling around looking for different shift battles, you just have the one shifter and it's really brainless in those, uh, those muddy wet days, which is great. I've got pretty small hands and what I like most about my SRAM is the reach adjustment. It allows me to have better control over my bike. I really like the shape of the new SRAM Red and it works well. I have fairly small hands um, and I find it really good. The best thing about working on the SRAM chains is the power lock system because when you put the chain together you know that it's going to work 100% of the time. You don't have to worry about if you push the pin in too far or not far enough. Or there's never any stiff links in the, in the system when you get it together. In cyclocross, the last thing you're thinking about is should I trim the front derailleur? All you want to do is shift the bike to the right gear and, and pedal as hard as you can. So not having to think about chain line and all that stuff is a huge advantage with the yaw. So, you know, every year I'm amazed at it. It always seems to be evolving in a really positive manner and everything seems to be getting better, you know, where you don't think there's really any room for improvement. They are constantly finding ways to make things, you know, feel better, work a little bit better, and just overall durability and performance.